the more I've studied this, this phenomenon of, of, of great leaders, I just, I, I, the more I'm convinced that, we, that, that great leaders are, are made, they're not born. And if that's the case, then there's lots and lots of potential greatness out there. And I think it also comes in many different shapes and sizes. We cover in our lives people who end up exerting, you know, a lot of power, a lot of authority, a lot of influence. Mm-hmm. But, I, you know, I, I went through chemotherapy. I saw great leaders on the infusion floor in those nurses, right? I've seen school principals who are great leaders. There's a woman right now in Ohio who's the health secretary who's facing death threats because she she, she knows a lot about, you know, social distancing and, and healthy protocols. And people are very, certain smaller group, very small group people is very angry and armed. Um, and, and, you know, she's, she's a great leader and she's getting greater by the day as she holds this idea about your health, the collective health of Ohioans is my charge. And I will just, and I will, you know, I'm I'm obligated by that. I will discharge that obligation. Um, So I think, I think we, one really important message for people in crucibles and, or helping someone in crucible is out of this can come your greatness, but you have to work at, and you have to say, my project here isn't just to get through this. It's to get better and stronger and fuller and more empathic and more compassionate and more competent. And I'm going to work on that as I navigate through these high winds and big waves. That's really important. But you have to decide that for yourself and then you have to stick to it. And it's, so that piece is a covenant that you make with yourself. And it's really powerful, but it takes work, real work, but incredibly rewarding work as well.